Hey, Coach Leanne Claire here, and today's video is about we're gonna go all the way down to the cell level of the body. And so, as you start to get a little bit further in, by the way, you like my really, really bright thing. I choose to match. Look, <laughs> I bought this just to match the shoes. Anyway, <laughs> so as you start to get a little bit further in your um, journey of being healthy, you might see a few things and be like, you know, is this really worth it? What is this? I don't understand it. I don't know what it is, what's about it. Um, and what I'm talking about is Bragg's apple cider vinegar, the specific brand that you're going to see a lot of people drink, and um, also pink salt. We're going to talk about both of those, and we're just going to go down to the cell level. So very in simplistic form, every cell has a sodium potassium pump. And the cool thing is, is that pink salt and the apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar is like the potassium part and then the pink salt is obviously the sodium part. But I really want to talk to you about the differences uh, between salt as well. So, you know, you sprinkle some salt on your food and then you can also finish with, uh, finish your food with like a little shot of this. You can put a tablespoon of this in like two to four ounces of water and then drink it after your meal. And it really just helps your cells work a lot better. It helps bring it helps your, it kind of works out your cell when it comes to bringing stuff into the cell and pushing stuff out of the cell. The cell, like, we're made of, of a lot of them, obviously. So we need to make sure that we're healthy all the way down to that level. So, um, there's not much else to say about the apple cider vinegar. It is kind of like gross to some people. Um, I actually use it for salad dressing. So I'm a little weird. I'm totally, I like the like, it has a little um, taste to it. I enjoy it, uh, but make sure you get the Bragg's organic and it has to have the mother in it. So where does it say that? With the mother. So make sure you get that. This is the, the best form and most organic form. Now this, this part's a little bit bigger. We're going to talk about pink salt. So you can see here, I know you've probably never seen this pink salt before. And some of you maybe have never even seen pink salt before. If you have seen pink salt before, the likelihood is that you've seen Himalayan pink salt. So the difference between white salt and pink salt is the way that it's heated. So all salt comes from the sea, unless it's just chemically grown, which is definitely stay away from that. But salt comes from the sea and the white salt is heated up to like 1700 degrees. And it actually makes the salt really toxic for your body. So it is really, really isn't good and isn't giving you that, that source of sodium that you really need. That's the kind of stuff, it's more chemical than it is sodium. So it's actually gonna make you feel really puffy and it, it's not gonna be good for your body because it's, it's actually breaking down the machine. Now, when you switch over to pink salt, you wanna make sure that you get air dried pink salt. So that eliminates that toxic toxicity that's being put into the salt. And my favorite is actually Premier Labs, Premier Labs pink salt, it looks like this, Premier Labs. And I was introduced to, to this through uh, another company um, and the reason, the reason, the difference between that and regular Himalayan pink salt are the type of minerals that are in it. So when you have air dried pink salt, you get the benefits not only of the sodium helping you with the sodium potassium pump, but you're also getting minerals. So minerals are like micronutrients. Uh, there's macronutrients, which is the protein, the carb, and um, the fat, and then there's micronutrients, which is like vitamins and minerals. So these are trace minerals that can help you. Um, lose fat and that's where the difference comes in between the Himalayan and then the Premier Labs. So the Premier Labs pink salt, the salt comes from Hawaiian Mediterranean sea salt and it's air dried and the volcanic ash from the Hawaiian salt actually has like 82, there's 90 trace minerals in it and 82 of them are essential for fat burning. So that's really cool. Like so the minerals that you need, that your body needs to burn fat is in the pink salt. So I make sure I use that with every single meal. It really, really helps me. I have no, like, it, I'm a very, very big believer in it. Um, and that, that's not to say that Himalayan pink salt isn't that. Himalayan pink salt has great mineral content, except for it's not specifically focused or specifically designed to burn fat. It's just a different type of mineral that your body needs and can use. So that's pretty much it. Just as a summation, Bragg's apple cider vinegar is a great source of potassium for your cell level along with the Premier Labs pink salt. That's my favorite. Make sure you're getting pink salt. You're not just utilizing white salt. Because the pink salt, the way that it's dried, is much, much better for your body. 
And I would also highly recommend doing both because you need to balance it out. Sodium potassium pump. If you're only having sodium, you're not having the potassium. You're not helping the cell work in both ways. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys got something out of it, obviously. You can take those, um, you can order the Premier Labs Pink Salt online and you can get the Bragg's Apple Cider Vinegar just about in any store that you have around you. Or just go for the Himalayan Pink Salt. Either one's totally okay. Just make sure you're balancing it out. I love you guys and I will see you next time.